Two murders has got to be better than one, right? Well, I put it to the test. Boosted Jewel Plus versus Raptor Mono Drive. We went to a velodrome and to a local hill. We did three tests. The hill climb, the sprint, and one lap of the velodrome. The hill climb tests torque output. The sprint tests the torque output also. And the lap around the velodrome is all about top speed. Both boards were charged to 100% before we started, and we didn't recharge them once We always accelerated to the top speed as fast as possible and held our finger down. And we never modified the film. The hill climb, it's a 100 meter sprint with 11 meter elevation. First is the booster dual pass. Great start, but slows down a little bit right at the top. The Raptor hits this hill with speed, and the big 6374 motor has huge torque and drives it to the top with ease. Here's some extra footage we took, just so you can see our position on the board, a bit more of the environment around us, and get a little bit better idea of what we were doing. This is a top speed test. We know the Booster Dual Plus can do 22 miles per hour. We're riding a center line around the entire circuit so that the total distance remains very similar in both laps. The Raptor's off to a flying start. Both the Boosted and the Raptor start this at full speed. It's a rolling start. The Raptor Mono can reach 27 miles per hour. With a much higher top speed, the Raptor takes the prize in this challenge. The sprint. This is a torque output and traction test. The Raptor Mono with a single motor has half the amount of traction as the Booster Dual with two motors. The Booster Dual gets better traction and a better start and wins this race. This is a great shot. You can see the boosted gets that perfect start and can't be caught. <laughs> 